Okay, here we are back at the spring of 1942. We'll start again with the Axis player. We had winter, winter basically um, saw the Russians get four replacements, the UK get one replacement, and the Germans got one ally. Their ally was Bulgaria, which may or may not help a little bit. Uh, we'll see if it can protect the southern front of the Russo-German war. Uh, I'd made a mistake, surprise, surprise, with units in the American box. Um, I should have had no units there at the beginning. They all should have been kind of just up here in kind of a pool. But for some reason I decided to put them in the American box, and that was a mistake. Uh, at the, let me see, at this turn they would have got a fleet and an air unit. However, before that I had three strategic um, units here, two subs and a raider, and I had not rolled for them for, you know, several turns before the American entry. So I went ahead and did that. I scored three hits. Uh, replacement points so I went back to the winter of 42 and took away a UK replacement and a Soviet replacement and uh, I went that's about far back as I went so I could have taken away another Soviet so I guess I did I guess I would have but I think they just had a 7-4 and a 2-7. So I'm going to go over here to the Soviet player. And I think I'm going to take out a 7-4 replacement because I know they had one that was dead. So that would have left them with two replacements, but at the time they only had a they only had two, so they'll squander at least one replacement point due to strategic warfare. And we'll just put that one up there somewhere. So, that, um, I think that's all corrected now. Um, I placed the uh, Bulgarian unit in the capital here. And. I think that was pretty much it. I moved a few units around to compensate for where they should have been, but I think that's clear now. So I'm going to go ahead and commence the Axis Spring turn, and I'll come back and do a recap of that turn. Okay, this is the end of the Axis movement phase in spring of 1942. Um, I basically just did a little repositioning for the most part. We did land the DAK here to join its Italian counterpart, the 3rd Italian. That basically leaves these two at a one-to-one -one if they should try to attack each other without air support. I moved a 3-3 three -three here, or I think I just left it, I don't remember. It was at Sicily, plus there's a fleet there that will help blockade. Um, that'll help blockade this area here, however I don't know how successful that will be. I guess I could have put it back up here and that would cover all of these hexes plus all of these hexes with that. Um, we'll have to wait and see if that's good or bad. Um, Barbarossa, we're going to make a few attacks up there into Russia. The Americans do come on, but I haven't brought them on the board yet. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't. We could put them over here, the air and the naval unit, and then use them. But anyway, we're at the end of the Axis tour. And technically, I meant I wanted to go ahead and do this at just the whole turn. So, um, we're just going to be at the Axis and Allies Spring 1942 turn. I wonder if Americans shouldn't put in a show here. 
Um, I could swing that down here and give these UK units a chance to deploy. Otherwise, you're just kind of stranded. So I think I will take the American fleet, and it's going to cost them, sorry for smacking my lips, 30 to get to here. I could bring the American fleet down, or I couldn't bring the American air units over there. I think that's probably what we're going to do, is we're going to slide that unit over there. Two ground units. What is stacking? Just want to make sure I have stacking right. Two land, in, two land units, a fort, an air. Okay, we don't have one air unit in there. So, in that case, we'll put the American bomber unit here for now, and we will have transported it with the American fleet. That would have cost, what, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 35. She cannot get home. Uh, then I think I will take her back to, what, Northern Ireland? Uh, I don't know if Northern Ireland. She'll just set off the coast of Northern Ireland right now. And be prepared to go ahead and go back to the United States. Now well, let's should just sit here in the box, I guess. So that would have been 30, 1, 2, that's 30 there. So I think she'll just sit here in the box <clears throat> to go back next turn because I think next turn the U.S. gets some more units. So that's going to be it for them, but I just, the German player just kind of maneuvered some units down here. This is the Yugoslav unit, turned uh, 90 degrees. And we're just kind of keeping it boxed in with the Bulgarians and the Hungarians while the German infantry army is uh, slowly moving its way around. Right now it's basically a six to, what do I want, six to three. I had five more, but the uh, Yugoslav unit becomes a six itself, so we're going to hold off on that attack until we can probably bring in more air support, or I need those units up on the um, east front. So, sorry about that. Apologize for the noise. So I guess we're going to go ahead and resolve these attacks. I have three to one. I have basically 21 to each one. These two units here will be 21 to three. And these units here will be 21 to, well, to 7, I guess, not 3. Making them 3 to 1 attacks. So, we're going to resolve the bottom one first. Get out of the chair. Smack the table around. And camera and pretty much everything else. Okay. That's all in focus. The southern attack right here. 3 to 1 is a 6. That should be pretty good. That is a D1. And that will eliminate That will eliminate this unit. And did we have any armor participating in that battle? I don't think I did. Yes, I did. So he can go 1 2 and then the infantry unit that was with him can go one. Ah, let's see. Hold on to my counters here. That unit's holding down Poland. We will advance five into here as well. Any units that participated in the attack can uh, go in. We'll leave the five here. Jeez, my hands are shaky. I think I need some food. Okay, that was painful. Now, up to stacking. All right, the three to one in the north. I guess that was the north. Did anybody see that? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, three to one in the north, and I lose my die. Well, that pretty much par for the course today. Uh, let's see. Excuse me while I find another one. Here's a good one. 
Three to one. Roll to three. At three to one, that is a one, two, three. Defender retreat. All right. This day is just not good for me. Defender retreat. Yeah. I guess we'll fall back towards Moscow since they're going to get some replacements here soon. I think that's a good idea. The armor unit can move too. And I drop it on the floor. Well, this is just not going too well for me today, but we shall overcome. Okay, I'm back after that snafu. Um, let's see. We can see everything here. I basically just advanced the units that attacked uh, the two, or that attacked uh, the Russian units. I just advanced them one, except down here where I went ahead and exploited with the armor unit. It's kind of out, you know, out hanging there dangerously. I think the units over here from Moscow will easily be able to come over here and cut it off, perhaps even destroy it, but. We're not going to take uh, any ground unless we um, go ahead and push forward. Let's see, you're in Poland, holding down Warsaw. I think that's going to be it. Um, the Allies, I really see nothing for them to do. At the moment, they can't strategically bombard. Yeah, because it's not the uh, winter term. So, I think they just uh, reposition. I guess I could use this fleet down here. Yeah, I think in the mid, we're going to take the fleet out of Malta, leave the air unit there, and then we're going to turn and turn. We're going to move back to Gibraltar and grab that armor unit for next turn. Okay, other than that, I think that's it for the uh, 42 supply. Or 42 spring term. Whatever I'm trying to say. Uh, I need some more coffee and something to eat. Anyway, when I get back, we shall move on into the summer of 42. See ya.